In this video, we're going to go over crowding the puck. This is a very important skill as you get older to take shooter space away. When you get older, player shots and accuracy gets better and better and better the older you get. So it's very important to manage your space and take away as much of their space as possible. Young goalies really struggle with this and it takes a little bit for them to grasp, but I can't stress it enough, the younger you are, to really focus on this because like I said, as you get older, this is something that you need to have in your game. This is all about taking the space away of the puck. So crowding the puck is with your hands and it's taking the space of the puck away. So if Coach Beans, so I'm gonna go shoot this puck. Coach Beans is now trying to take the space of the puck away so I can't get it up and over him. If Coach Beans, if I'm going to shoot this puck and Coach Beans' hands and weight are in his back pocket, it allows the puck so much room to get up and over him. That is why our hands need to be aggressive. We don't want to open holes with this. We have to be very patient. But again, it's moving our hand right towards the puck just so the puck can't get the elevation. So right now we have the camera right by the puck. So this is what the puck sees. So right now Coach Bean's hands are back in his pocket and as you can see there is room up in this area. But now if Coach Beans leans forward and gets his glove aggressive over top of the puck, it is such a different look for that puck. And now it's only about two feet away from the puck that the puck can get up. Rather than if his hand is back in his pocket, the puck has about four feet of availability to get up on him. And that is why crowding is so important. And now it's the exact same thing on the blocker, but we just wanna show the look. So again, Coach Beans, put the blocker in your pocket, like our hands are back, like a lot of kids do. Again, that puck has a good three to four feet of elevation that it could get up over his hand, up into this space. And now Coach Beans, push that blocker forward and crowd that puck. There is nothing. Right, again, his weight's forward, his eyes are connected to the puck, but again, that puck has no room to get up and over him. And like I said, players have more skill and accuracy as they get older, so this is something, if you're a young goalie, you need to learn how to do this and get good at it as a young age if you want to be successful later on. And if you're an older goalie and you want to get better, this is a great skill to really focus on and take in space away. There are a bunch of times when you're going to use this during a game or practice and it is when the puck is in tight. We can't crowd the puck if the player's at the top of the circle, that's impossible. We stay patient and stay over it. But crowding the puck is all around the blue paint, whether we're in reverse and we're on our posts, or we're just down in our butterfly off our rebound, or if it's a breakaway and we have to move into it. It's all around the blue paint is when we're gonna be crowding the puck. Here is a simple crowding the puck drill. Obviously you need a player to help you do this, but it's very simple. All we have is the goaltender down at the top of the blue paint. We got our pile of pucks and what we're gonna do. So we'll start with this just to make sure that you get the hang of it. So all we're gonna do, I'm not gonna move, I'm not gonna shoot. All I'm gonna do is just stick handle and make sure that the puck is getting crowded. So one thing that's really important when doing this is to make sure that when the puck gets moved, that you don't let your legs pull apart. Because if that happens, holes, 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 okay? So if it's just a small little movement, knees stay tight, knees stay tight, okay? Or if it is just a little bit, you can even shift this pad a little bit into it and drive this glove forward at the puck just so we get that low coverage as well. But again, I always tell kids when working on this specific drill is to just keep your knees glued together and get really good at just moving head and hand at the puck, just like this. Again, everywhere I go, he's all over it. He's all over it, doesn't matter. He's all over it with his eyes and his hand, and that is the importance of crowding. So as the player, my feet are completely still here. All I'm gonna do is stick handle, the goalie's gonna stay connected, make that save. So what this is gonna look like is, 
He's all over it. Doesn't matter. Look at that save. That was perfect. Textbook. Doesn't matter which way I go. No space. You're all over the puck. You can do as many pucks as you want. Again, this is just a great basic drill to learn how to crowd the puck. I hope you learned something in this video. Again, this is such an important skill, whether you're eight in the NHL, something that you should always work on and be good at is taking player space away because like I said earlier in this video, players are getting more skilled by the second and we have to take their time and space away. If you like this video, let us know in the comments below. We have many more videos like this coming down the pipe.